hello guys in this video we are going to see how to create a google instance in google cloud platform so here you can see i have searched for google cloud and just get into this website cloud.google.com and uh, this is the home page which you get after uh, getting into this cloud.google.com so first thing you need to do is go to the console the google console offers in the main view it will show you to create a project inside the project you can create the services which you want so in our tutorial we are going to use the compute service uh, which is the creating instance so to do that let's see how to do that in this tutorial So I have already created my project. Uh, creating project doesn't require any uh, details. Just you have to give your Gmail, add your Gmail account. Once you create a project, by default there will be a default project, or you can create one. Uh, the option is here. Create a project. After you create a project, uh, now I am in this project. Venkat one one one. Now you need to go to this menu and these are the services you can create any services you need but let's see how to create an instance from Google. So uh, to create an instance you need to go to compute engine. Here are the, there are various options uh, for the instance. Now what I am going to do is go to the images and create a ubuntu instance so previously in the older tutorial i have seen the website it is very different from what we are seeing now it well organized before it used to be a different links which you have to bookmark it now Google had made it straightforward it's like an application it is going to be there forever so you feel if you use it for two or three days you will uh, get familiar with how to navigate in Google Cloud Platform so let's check use this Ubuntu it's just for demonstration and let's see how after creating instance how to connect to that created instance so I am now in my free tier uh, I have already given my bank account details that is the reason I am able to access this compute engine you first need to give your account details uh, then only Google will allow you to use this service without account details you cannot use this service so I am currently in my free tier so this is the machine type you can choose any machine type uh, if you want even a bigger one you can go for it uh, up to 8 CPU with 7.2 GB memory. I think this is the max. Uh, maybe not because I am in my free tier, so they have limited to only 7 GB memory. These are APIs, uh, which is nothing but the Google BigQuery, such APIs which can be used along with this compute here. So let's create it. This is my next second. I, I have already created my instance. It is a Debian one. Now I am just for the tutorial, I am creating a new one. So my zone here is US Central C. The zone matters because uh, when you create an instance near your location, the 
network speed and the speed will be faster than the zone which is away from your location so uh, now the instance is created by default the new instance will start by itself you can see the difference between the two here you will see there is a green color then it shows the instance is running it, here you can see the stop icon the instance is stopped another way to find out is the ssh will be in bold and now this is my external ip so i can directly give this ip to my ssh tools like putty but it is not required for google instance you can directly click on this this is nothing but a ssh instance i mean it is an ssh connection it will connect depending upon your internet speed so this is the new ubuntu services ubuntu server you can install any apps you want you can install any software you want and uh, you have root access by default you don't need to give password you can switch directly so uh, i may, i think i cannot give the password but i can do sudo yeah so actually this is what i was trying to say uh, i didn't try that before switching to root user but you can you have sudo access as a root so once you create it to turn off the instance just by clicking the close button it won't turn off you need to select this and stop it's actually shutting shutting down the instance and the data will be present in the but if you delete this instance your data will be lost so that's the difference between shutdown and deleting an instance so you can uh, explore other options here instance groups uh, this is like if you have three or four instance you can make it a cluster using this instance group options that's all guys thank you for watching this video